30 Hidden Meanings in the Royal Family's Body Language The royals are always careful about how they present themselves to the public, but sometimes their body language can reveal more than they intend. Whether it's a subtle gesture or a facial expression, some clues can tell us what they're thinking and feeling. Today, we're going to take a look at 30 hidden meanings behind the royal family's body language. So let's get started. Number one, queen using handbag to signal her staff. The late queen didn't carry handbags just as a fashion accessory. Instead, her branded bags were a secret tool for communication. The late queen used her body language to convey messages to her staff. She was very aware of her image and role as the ruling monarch. Hence, she developed a subtle and sophisticated way of expressing herself. The late Queen Elizabeth used to carry her handbag even inside the palace. She would move it from one arm to another to signal different messages, like signaling to leave the event. She used other gestures, such as touching her ear or tapping her fingers, to convey her feelings. Number 2. Queen's Smile a smile can reveal a lot about what a person is thinking and feeling. According to body language experts, the late queen mastered the art of using different types of smiles as per the occasion. The queen smiled a genuine smile when she was truly happy and relaxed. She was usually seen smiling with her teeth and crinkled eyes whenever she was with her grandchildren or someone close to her. She had a polite smile when she wanted to be courteous but not emotional. The late queen developed a forced smile too whenever she found herself in unpleasant situations. Number three, Princess Catherine's smile. The Princess of Wales possessed a flawless smile that doesn't lose its charm quickly on the people who meet her. It shows her true joy and connection with the people. People have observed that the couple changed their smiles after becoming the Prince and Princess of Wales. They switched from royal smiles, which are fixed and formal, to flooding smiles, which are natural and relaxed. Princess Catherine's smile shows how confident and comfortable she has become since she got her new title. Number four, the royal wave. Have you ever noticed that the royals have a special way of waving? The members of the royal family are expected to wave as a polite gesture. They use their special way to avoid sore arms and wrists. The royal historian Hugo Vickers revealed that the late queen got her wave from her grandmother, Queen Mary, who had a very formal way of waving. The late Queen Elizabeth made it more chill and natural. She even taught it to her kids and grandkids. Every royal member has a different way of waving. Some wave faster or slower, some wave higher or lower, and others wave with more or less fingers. It's not just their style. It changes depending on their mood and the situation. Number five. Queen's hand clasp. We have seen the late queen always holding her hands together whenever she was out in public. Well, it turns out that there was a good reason for that. Deciphered by a body language expert, the late queen clasped her hands in a way of being polite and humble. She usually kept her hands in a low key position. The late queen made hand clasping her signature style so that the people didn't take her presence as threatening or bossy. It was also reflected as a sign of respect to the people who came to meet her. The people even started to return the gesture to show that they honored her humility. Number six, Prince Philip's posture. Prince Philip always had a special way of standing with his hands tucked behind his back. Many people thought that he always walked with a straight posture, portraying his pride in being the royal prince. Well, he didn't do that just because of pride. It had some hidden meaning behind it. Prince Philip's consistent hand-behind-the-back posture was a reflection of his military background and training. As a naval officer who took part in World War II, he adopted this stance as a mark of discipline, formality, and respect for protocol. His posture also showed that he had a dominant personality. Number seven, Princess Catherine is ready to become queen. Recent photos of Princess Catherine are giving off some serious future queen vibes. Experts suggest that the images portray Princess Catherine's natural elegance and inner strength, which just shows her preparation for her future role. Princess Catherine has adopted a new pose and smile. In her 40th birthday portrait, 
she was captured smiling with teeth, showing her confidence and readiness for the role of queen consort. Currently, her body language channels her aura as the Princess of Wales. Number 8. Newlyweds Elizabeth and Philip When the late Queen and Prince Philip were married, Buckingham Palace released a photo showing the newlyweds standing together with the Queen's hand in Prince Philip's arm. The picture showed the couple talking to each other while taking a walk. They looked like a typical couple who were in their honeymoon period. Some people interpreted the couple's photo as a sign of how they defined their respective roles in the marriage. The queen can be seen admiring her husband and following his lead, while Prince Philip is walking ahead of her, but his eyes are on his wife. Their eyes were clearly announcing love for each other. Number 9. The Queen on Her Way to Be Crowned The late queen's coronation took place on June 2, 1952 four months after she became the British monarch following the death of her father. This iconic picture was clicked when the young queen was on her way to the coronation ceremony. Queen Elizabeth's expression with her lips pressing a slight smile shows her nervousness and excitement. She can be seen sitting tall, but her back is slightly bent. It could be because of the weight of the dress and crown. Metaphorically, her body language shows that even though she was new to her role, she was ready to take on huge responsibilities and shine as the new monarch of Britain. Number 10. King Charles's Urban Handshake King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla were seen at the Rugby World Cup. King Charles was captured doing an urban handshake with one of the players of the All Blacks. It was later revealed that World Cup winner Dan Carter greeted him with an unconventional handshake. King Charles, being a sport, embraced the gesture, and completed the urban-styled handshake with enthusiasm. King Charles's body language showcased his approachable and down-to-earth nature. But not everyone was happy with this gesture. Etiquette expert William Hansen stated that this handshake was not the proper way to greet a royal. This incident showed how King Charles wanted to make his royal persona more friendly. Number 11. King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla's Laugh a video of King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla laughing during a traditional indigenous welcome ceremony landed them in hot water. People accused the royal couple of being disrespectful and insensitive to the culture of the Inuit people, who performed throat singing for them. Throat singing is a vocal technique that involves two singers trying to outlast each other while singing. The royal couple's body language divided the fans in two. Some folks labeled their behavior as rude and disrespectful while others came to their defense, explaining that throat singing is meant to be enjoyed and laughter is a natural part of the performance. This shows that laughter can sometimes be misinterpreted in different cultural contexts. Number 12. Queen Elizabeth's Family Picture Let's take a look at this family picture with a young Queen Elizabeth holding her baby daughter, Princess Anne. Standing beside her is Prince Philip, who is holding baby Charles in his arms. This picture gives us an insight into Queen Elizabeth's early years of marriage. Seeing this intimate side of the royal family is a rare thing. These moments are often lost in the controversies and juicy headlines created by tableau and media. You can tell the young royals are having a good time with their kids in the sun. The body language of the queen shows that she is taking in the moment and enjoying her family time. Prince Philip's one hand on the back of Queen Elizabeth shows his care and his full involvement in the family time. Number 13. Harry and Meghan's Relationship in a Transition Meghan Markle was seen putting the tip of her hand on Harry's arm at the UN headquarters. This showed a changing dynamic in their relationship. A body language expert analyzed the subtle cues and concluded that Meghan looked proud of Harry's leadership and influence as shown by the way she clasped his hand. Meghan also showed affectionate gestures towards Harry, such as rubbing his elbow or back, indicating her role as his biggest supporter. Number 14. Queen's Appearance at Her Husband's Death The Queen's body language and appearance at Prince Philip's funeral revealed how devastated she was at the death of her husband after 73 years of marriage. A body language expert said the queen looked crushed and shaky, as if she could barely stand on her own. 
The social distancing made it easy for the experts to read her body language. Her hunched and slightly unstable posture spoke volumes about her emotional burden. But at the same time, she seemed a bit relieved as both her grandsons, William and Harry, were present to offer her support. Number 15. Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana's Initial Relationship A picture of the Queen and Princess Diana riding together in a carriage captured an important moment in royal history. Back in 1982, Princess Diana had just entered the royal family as a young and timid bride of King Charles. We can see in the photo how a young Diana has attracted the attention of the photographers. She looks nervous next to her mother-in-law, who seems to ignore the cameras completely. This contrast shows how Diana was still adjusting to her new role and suppressing her true personality, which would eventually shine through in the years to come. Number 16. Royal Family's Final Appearance at the Jubilee Celebrations the royal family's final appearance at the Jubilee celebrations marked a historic event. King Charles showed admiration and had a protective stance towards the queen. Princess Catherine appeared quietly confident, standing beside the late queen. Her polite yet straightforward posture showed her sentiments for the occasion. The late queen, dressed in green, waved to the crowd. Her body language displayed her sincerity and gratitude to the crowd for their support. Camilla was seen dressed in white, standing beside Charles. Her demeanor showed that she solidified her role as the support system of Charles. The royal family wanted to show their strength as a united family after Harry and Meghan decided to leave their royal duties. Number 17. Prince George's Body Language According to body language experts, Prince George is showing signs of growing leadership skills. The young prince is often seen displaying a range of confident gestures and expressions. For example, in his birthday portrait, he smiled broadly and looked directly at the camera, suggesting he was comfortable with being in the spotlight. In another video, he was seen walking alongside his father, Prince William, and mimicking his posture and stride, indicating he is learning from his role model. The expert also pointed out how Prince George interacts with his siblings, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, and how he often takes the lead or protects them from potential threats. Number 18. Princess Charlotte's Body Language Princess Charlotte has been charming the public with her adorable antics and confident personality ever since she was born. She is often seen taking charge of her younger brother, Prince Louis, holding his hand and guiding him during public appearances. This reveals her protective side, as well as her sense of responsibility. Moreover, she never looked nervous while expressing her emotions. Whether it was waving enthusiastically, sticking out her tongue, or throwing a tantrum, this shows she knows how to communicate assertively. She is a very well-mannered kid who's always found following the royal protocol and etiquette. Number 19. Queen's Relation with Charles the Queen had an extra special relationship with King Charles since he was her firstborn and heir apparent to the throne. The dynamics between them were complex and often misunderstood by the public. When they were together, their body language was used to give hints about how they felt and approached each other. They often maintained a respectful distance in public. This indicated professionalism, as they recognized their different roles as monarch and heir. However, they also showed signs of warmth and affection such as smiling, nodding, and leaning in to listen. The mother-son duo was famous for sharing the same sense of humor. Number 20, Queen's Relation with Anne. The late queen shared a complicated dynamic with her daughter. The queen's royal duties didn't allow them to have a typical mother-daughter relationship. Looking at their body language, they didn't seem very close or affectionate. They just held hands or kissed on the cheek but their bodies always looked stiff, and their faces didn't show much emotion either. They smiled and laughed, but most of the time, it looked forced and fake. They came across as if they were annoyed or bored with each other. Maybe their different personalities were the reason for this. Number 21, Queen's Relation with Andrew. Prince Andrew's harassment cases and scandals caused a rocky connection between his late mother and him. Looking at old pictures, you'll notice the late queen showing signs of affection and support for her son, 
but with the passage of time and Prince Andrew's increasing scandals, it turned into disappointment and frustration. Number 22, Queen's Relation with Edward. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Edward looked like they were pretty close, especially compared to her other kids. If you look at some photos of them together, you will see that they were very relaxed and affectionate with each other. They often smiled, hugged, and laughed together, and they didn't seem to have any tension or awkwardness. Assessing their body language, the late queen seemed to have the most genuine bond with Prince Edward. Number 23. Similarities between Princess Anne and Prince Philip Princess Anne is considered to have a lot in common with her dad, Prince Philip. A body language expert concluded that Anne and the late Philip were both no-nonsense, realistic, and tough people who think alike. Their posture and overall demeanor in public were also alike. Many think Anne made the queen show a different side of herself, just like Philip did. Princess Anne's body language showed that she was very close to her father. Number 24. Prince William and Princess Catherine mirror each other. Prince William and Princess Catherine are often seen mirroring each other's gestures and expressions. Well, mirroring is considered a sign of compatibility and attraction. When walking together, they often match their pace and stride, showing that they are in sync. They also tend to hold hands or touch each other lightly, which shows intimacy. The couple also mirrors each other's head tilts, smiles, and eye contact, showing that they are attentive and interested in what the other is saying. When they interact with others, they copy reactions and emotions, such as laughing, nodding, or frowning. Their body language reveals that they have a strong emotional bond. Number 25, Royal Ladies at Queen's Funeral. The royal ladies showed their feelings about the queen's demise in different ways. Princess Catherine looked sad and quiet as her eyes and lips were tight. Princess Sophie tried not to cry as her mouth was closed and her eyes were looking away. Meghan's smile and eyebrows gestured her genuine regard for the other two ladies. Number 26, Royal Men at the Queen's Funeral. Body language experts claimed King Charles looked isolated and silent in grief. He was sitting alone in his car with a devastating expression. Meanwhile, Prince Harry seemed in need of conversation and a hug. While coming from the Queen's funeral, he was seen placing a supportive hand on an airport employee's back before boarding a plane. Number 27. Harry and Meghan secret gestures to each other. You won't believe the secret signals Prince Harry and Meghan Markle use to talk without saying a word. Body language guru Darren Stanton analyzed their unspoken communication. One notable gesture is Meghan's hand placement on Harry's lower back. It's like her way of saying, I've got your back. Their prolonged eye contact shows how real their connection is. You've probably noticed how they're always holding hands in public. That's another sign of their closeness. The couple have got these secret signs only they understand. When Meghan gently touches Harry's elbow, it's their secret way of saying, let's exit. This physical contact reflects the deep bond they share, offering comfort in various situations. Number 28, King Charles and Camilla at their coronation. The coronation of King Charles was a big day for the royal family. The new king showed a lot of emotion and thoughtfulness during the ceremony while Queen Camilla demonstrated a sense of control as her demeanor looked cool and composed. Number 29, Harry at King Charles' coronation. Prince Harry's body language stood out at his father's coronation. He exhibited unusual behavior. He looked out of place and lonely as he kept his distance from the rest of the family. Number 30, Queen's overall facial expressions. The late queen had two main facial expressions, a polite smile that she used for official occasions, and the other was her sour Miss Piggy face that she used to make whenever she was displeased or bored. The queen never copied the body language of others in public to show her authority and distance. This brings us to the end of our video. So do you agree with our interpretations? Or do you have other observations to add? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.